Hello everyone, it's Imran here, welcome back to another video, so I have no idea why I'm doing this. It's currently 7.35 in the evening on New Year's Eve and obviously I'm staying up till midnight to welcome in the new year, so I decided, you know what, why don't I just record a couple of videos for the next one and a half hours, yes, I'm going to be spending the next one and a half to two hours reacting to a bunch of videos, so expect a lot of uploads later on tonight but anyway i'm going to react to another fan made thomas story but this one is was made by blue 15 bomber which is a which actually premiered over an hour ago which is called goodbye mrs kindly by richard jordan in fact i'll close my door completely so i so i don't disturb my sister sister normally i record when she's when she's not here because she sometimes tends to spend most of her time here at home upstairs so yeah i don't want to disturb her and constantly get her telling me to be quiet but anyway so yeah goodbye mrs carney by richard jordan i actually really enjoy richard jordan's stories here they i do that he's like one of the best writers in the thomas fandom like so many stories i can name like you know down the hill thomas and the old oak tree no stone unturned what else was there? Out of Line, Good Engines, just to name a few, but he has done quite a lot of good Thomas stories, and this one's going to be very interesting. Obviously, so, so I've seen most writers do Mrs. Kindly dying in their stories, such as, you know, NWR 1991's Farewell Old Friend that he released back in 2014 as part of NWR Tales. It was, and then, of course, the two-part Kindly special that Liam Miller did, which I reacted to on my channel. If you want to see that, go and check it out on my channel in the Thomas the Tank Engine Reactions playlist. And, uh, yeah, so let's see what Richard Jordan's take on saying farewell to Mrs. Kindly is. So, links to the video I'm reacting to in the description down below, as always. So, without further ado, let's not waste any more time and get straight into this. This video is intended for general audiences, for people of all ages. Ah, oh, so the reference to Project Tiger Month. Really enjoyed it. <coughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Kindly. Taught by DW The World. Okay. Let's see what this video is. Mrs. Kinley's cottage sits on a hill overlooking Thomas's Kinley. branch line. The engines whistle happily to her as she waves from the upstairs window. Mm -hmm. She has been a friend to the railway for many years, and the engines loved her very much. Yep. One day, Toby stopped at a signal near the cottage. Mrs. Kindley was tending to her garden. Kindley? Toby gave you mean her a kindly. cheerful ding ding on his bell. Hello, Toby. She said. It is good to see you. What are you doing? Toby asked. I'm digging up my old flowers, she replied. The ones from last season have died. Ah, flowers are delicate things, said Toby. You Thanks get new all. flowers, but they never can replace the beauty of what came before. I couldn't agree more, smiled Mrs. Kindley. I just wish I could keep the cottage looking as good as my flowers. At this age, it's hard to keep up with it all. T Toby, do you have time to take me into town to buy new flowers? I, I must get groceries, too. Of course, Toby said. Of course, Toby would do anything to help a friend. And as the signal dropped, he and Mrs. Kindley left for the next station. Kindley, I can't get used to that. I prefer to call her kindly. <coughs> At the junction, Mrs. Kinley thanked Toby and walked slowly away. Toby oh. was sad to see that it was becoming harder and harder for her to do the things she once was able to do. It was becoming hard. I, I, I like the TV series Farka with the railway series shared in the background. I really like the combination of both. Toby was sad Farka to see that with it the was TV becoming harder station and, and the harder for her to do the things she once was able to do. Toby became pensive about this and told the others later that day. Mm -hmm. ah, she's getting old, Thomas sighed. Yeah. I do wish there was a way we could make things easier for her. 
What if we make deliveries? I can ask the foreman to load anything she needs into my vans. Percy said cheerfully. And I can bring her friends to visit her in Henrietta. Toby added. That's settled then, Thomas smiled. If we all pitch in wherever we can, we can make a big difference for Mrs. Kindley. Yep. The engines were as good as their word, making a special stop each day at Mrs. Kindley's cottage to bring much needed food and fellowship. Thomas's driver and fireman helped her plant her new flowers and neighbors helped oh. clean the cottage from top to bottom. Soon it looked better than ever before and Mrs. Kinley thanked the engines, their drivers and all of her friends for their hard work. It makes an old woman smile to have such wonderful friends, Aww. she said. Thomas, Percy and Toby all beamed. <laughs> Over the next few weeks, the engines didn't see Mrs. Kindley as much. They made their deliveries, but men and women that the engines hadn't met before came to receive them. They weren't oh. neighbors or friends. One day, Toby thought to ask one of these men. We are part of Mrs. Kindley's hospice team, he said. Toby mean? gave a pained look. He knew what that meant. Oh, no, Is yeah. she very ill? Toby asked, sadly. I'm afraid so. We're taking good care of her, said the man. She's comfortable. She asks about you and the others. Toby smiled. Oh, Please tell I her that we are thinking of her going. and love her very much. I will, he said, and walked up to the cottage. Toby told the others the sad news. It's a shame. She was always there for us over the years, and now she's helpless. At least we were able to give her one last gift, Thomas said. Her cottage is beautiful, and her flowers are beginning to bloom. Yeah. The three engines sighed and sat in silence for some time, thinking about Mrs. Kindley. Oh. One day shortly thereafter, Toby stopped at the cottage, hoping to speak to one of the nurses again, but found only a short man in a black suit. Hello, he said. While we appreciate your deliveries, we are no longer accepting them due to Mrs. Kindley's passing. Toby's heart sank. Oh. When did it happen? Passing. Toby asked mournfully. Last night, she uh, yeah, passed away gone. peacefully. The man turned and left Toby alone at the signal. Toby looked up and saw the blooms. Vibrant reds, blues, and yellows sparkled in the sunshine. They're beautiful, but can never replace what came before. Toby said to himself, thinking of his friend, Mrs. Kindley. But no matter how sad he felt, the new life blossoming at the cottage reminded him that Mrs. Kindley was still there. Goodbye, Mrs. Kindley. Yep. <coughs> That's it. So yeah, that, that was quite short. I was expecting something like, you know, what NWR 1991 or, and Liam Miller did, but yeah, they wanted to they wanted to make sure they gave Mrs. Kindly, not Kinley. I don't know why he pronounced that. I don't know why Dead World pronounced it as Kinley. I still prefer it to call her Mrs. Kindly, but who cares? But yeah, that was sweet of Thomas, Percy and Toby to constantly deliver supplies and when Mrs. Kindly became very ill and sadly unfortunately passed away I'm pretty sure she was grateful for the three engines help help I mean I thought NWR 1991's version is go was going to be the only version we get but no Liam Miller made one and now Richard Jordan's made one this is why I like Richard Jordan because he adds a little bit of emotion to Thomas's stories like I think of Thomas and the old oak tree for example where Thomas had to deal with a loss of his own. I won't get too much spoilers into that. You can go and search that video up yourself. Or well, story. But, yeah, that was sweet of what of the trio to do. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. The Blue 15 Boomer Bomber, great job as always on making these videos. Loved the Project Tiger Moth reference in the intro. And I also like the credits, no music playing at the end. And so, yeah, I enjoyed this video, so I hope you all enjoyed this video as well. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video. And also let me know in the comments down below what other videos you want me to react to next. 
share this video, subscribe if you're new here, ring that bell to get notified for when I upload new videos or when I post on the community tab, and also make sure you subscribe to Blue 15 Bomber for more Thomas stories that he's going that he adapts. I link to his channel in the description down below. He also does um other non-Thomas videos on there, so give his channel a shout. You might be interested in some, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!